Officials from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Savannah District reported six fatalities so far this year from the district's three dams and reservations along the Savannah River. The number of fatalities that uh, people not wearing life jackets is up. More safe water decisions to keep your family safe. And you are joining us, Army Corps Park Ranger Sandy Campbell. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks. Thank you. Six, that's awfully high, isn't it? Uh, one is too many. Yeah, well, definitely. So, uh, yeah, it's not a good way to start the recreating summer. Um, so we have park rangers that are out on the waters, just talking with the visiting public, uh, talking about water safety, hoping to um, just maybe change a behavior, uh, change, make a decision that um, will hopefully save their lives. And it's amazing how much people just take for granted because a, a lot of the, the deaths happen when people aren't even planning on being on the water. That's true. Uh, approximately 6,000 people drown across the nation every year. And over two-thirds of those people that drowned had no intentions of being in the water. They were on their boat just recreating, going for a ride, or on their dock, um, and, and had no plans of actually entering the water. So a life jacket certainly would have saved their life. What are the rules as far as life jackets go? Well, there are no rules as far as the state laws go. Um, there are no requirements as far as uh, what well, there are for children, but for adults, it's not a requirement to wear your life jacket. What's the age? Where, where does it's, it stop? It's different for each state. Okay. Uh, South Carolina, Georgia, uh, every state has a different okay. requirement for the children. But the, the rule of thumb that you want to follow with a life jacket is making sure that the life jacket is Coast Guard approved. And if it is, and it fits properly for the size and the weight of the person that's going to be wearing it. Obviously, this is for a child. Mm -hmm. And this type of life jacket, if the child were to enter in the water, it would, it would make them float upright and keep their head above the water with this panel behind their but head. But not if they don't have it on. That's correct. And, if, and just because it's in the boat doesn't mean when something happens that there will be an opportunity to get it on. The same mentality when I'm talking with visitors is that you don't have time to click your seat belt before you have a wreck. Same, same thought with a life jacket is you don't have time to grab one as you're going to have a collision or an accident. The only way it works is to put it on and to wear it. And, and especially if you're out on a boat or in any kind of deep water, this applies to strong swimmers as well as non-swimmers. Absolutely. We had a drowning last week and it was reported that that gentleman was an excellent swimmer. So um, you never know when you're going to get in distress, have cramps. So if you're on any open body of water, uh, we encourage that, strongly encourage that folks wear a life jacket at all times. What are the park ranger? What is your job in the, in all of this in the campaign for safe water? Well, we're visitor assistants. We're out there um, making contact, direct contact with with the visitors, and trying to change behaviors so that um, when we, we walk up, we have. We have things that we'll walk up and we'll hand out um, in, on the lake. We'll have a frisbee kind of as a conversation breaker and just say, hey, did you know? Watch out for drop-offs. Did you no, know it's that not this safe. lake drops off? Yeah. And a lot of times I'll <laughs> wear my life jacket. This is actually an inflatable life jacket that if I were to enter the water, it would automatically inflate like an airbag. And I'll have this on. I said, you know, it doesn't look mm. like your standard life jacket. Right. So they make them very comfortable now, very lightweight. So there's really no excuse not to wear a life so jacket. So this is a, this is one any adult could wear. That is correct. With this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now how does that? Is there a sensor on there? There's comes? actually a, a sensor in here. It's a CO2 cartridge, and if I fall in the water within two seconds, it'll deploy, wow. and wow. It, it blows up, and um, it'll keep me safe. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, you know, don't want to discourage people from having fun around the water, but drinking around the water is also a big issue. They just don't mix. Alcohol and water just do not mix. So if you're um, Usually when there's a fatality, the first thing that we're looking into is was alcohol involved because the alcohol impairs your judgments. If people overestimate their swimming ability or their skills, their boating skills, and it just is usually a deadly combination. So not wearing the life jacket, uh, use of alcohol, lack of sufficient swimming skills, and hypothermia. How does that play in? Well, um, of course, usually in the winter. Yeah. Um, men are out fishing, people are out fishing. Yeah. And they're not thinking, they have, again, they have no intentions of being in the water. And waves come up, high winds, or they trip and fall, or they get dizzy. They, they've been sitting for a while, they stand up, and they go overboard. And hypothermia can, can take you under very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. So without that life jacket, when you get so cold and you can't move, 
um, without the life jacket you're going to go under. These are, this is information that, that needs to start when, uh, with the kids so that they grow up with it and it's just a part of their water and boating um, life. But you actually go into the camps and, and to the schools we to do. educate children? Um, our public outreach is, is a tremendous mission that we have with the Corps of Engineers and we go into the local schools and we'll talk, children are great. They're the easiest yeah. audience that we work with. Um, they'll go home and tell their parents uh, when they're out on the lake, uh, the, the park ranger said, you're supposed <laughs> right. to be wearing a life jacket if I'm out on the water. So they're great. Um, we go into the schools, we go to where, where, we'll go to them. We go where they're out recreating, walking uh, the beaches and public areas. See, this is something I didn't realize was a part of the Army Corps of Engineers, the park rangers. No, I didn't either. So we've all learned something here <laughs> today. And you can learn more about um, all of the water safety. There is a website there is. for the campaign, and it is an easy one, safeboatingcampaign.com. Sandy, thank you so much. Thank you. And hopefully everyone will have a safe and happy summer. That would be wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thank you.